The Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark was developed by Northrop as a light fighter jet, based on the F-5E Tiger II. The development began in 1975, and the F-20 was considered a less expensive competitor to the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. In 1961, the U.S. Department of Defense was instructed to find an inexpensive jet fighter that could be offered to U.S. allies. This eventually resulted in the development of the Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighter. The Freedom Fighter was later upgraded to the F-5E Tiger II. In the late 1970s, Taiwan was looking for a fighter aircraft to face the threat of improved jet fighters in the Chinese Air Force. A fighter that would be capable of using the AIM-7 Sparrow missile was preferable. However, because of the U.S. relations with China at the time, all AIM-7-capable aircraft were blocked from export. But Taiwan was already producing F-5Es under license, so Northrop was asked to look into making the Tiger II capable of using AIM-7 missiles. This led to a number of studies for a new F-5G version. The potential export of the F-5G was however personally blocked by President Carter. The U.S. State Department suggested that a new aircraft would be designed for the role, based on technology that would not pose a threat to the U.S. President Carter allowed the development of a new export fighter, which was named the FX. The FX could not use any advanced avionics systems that was also used in U.S. aircraft. The FX would be privately funded, and the sales would be handled by the Department of Defense. General Dynamics responded to the FX requirement with a variant of the F-16A, and Northrop responded with the F-5G. The F-5G was delayed, and exports remained blocked, which led to that Taiwan began the development of their own light fighter project in 1982. Eventually, the Air Force was directed to fund a small number of F-5Gs. By now, Northrop felt that the fighter need a better performance engine, to be able to match the F-16, and new avionics systems as well. Since it was no longer a low-cost, lower-quality option, Northrop requested to change the designation of the aircraft to F-20. The U.S. Air Force approved the new designation in late 1982, and the name Tiger Shark was approved early 1983. The F-20 used a single General Electric F-404 engine, which produced 60% more thrust than the combined output of the two engines of the F-5E. This gave the F-20 a speed of over Mach 2.0, and a climb rate of 52,800 feet per minute. The leading edge extensions of the wings were modified in comparison to the F-5E, and the horizontal stabilizer was increased in size. A new fly-by-wire system was added. Supersonic turn rates of the F-20 were 47% higher than those of the F-5E. The construction of the F-20 made greater use of composite materials than the F-5E. Also, the avionics suite was completely new and vastly improved, and the cockpit was completely redesigned. The F-20 would also have been capable of using most of the common U.S. weapons, including Maverick Sidewinder and Sparrow missiles. The prototypes were equipped with two M-39 nose-mounted cannons. There were some issues with the F-20 design. The design did not present a problem in the fighter role. However, when compared to aircraft like the F-16, the F-20 had a severely reduced capability to carry bombs, as well as a limited range. The F-20 was much more expensive than the F-5E, although still considered a low-cost option. It was also capable of firing the AIM-7 Sparrow missile, which at the time the F-16 was unable to do. The first F-20s produced were intended to be production-quality aircraft. The first aircraft made its maiden flight August 30, 1982. During testing, the F-20 fired Sidewinder Sparrow and Maverick missiles, fired rockets and dropped Mark 82 bombs. Northrop hired flight legend Chuck Yeager as a spokesperson, and he praised the aircraft as magnificent. In October 1984, an F-20 crashed during a demonstration flight in South Korea, killing the pilot. An investigation cleared the aircraft design of faults. The F-20 could only be marketed for sale by the U.S. State Department, and Northrop complained that the government did not promote the F-20 enough. An investigation was made, and a committee concluded that the State Department and the Department of Defense lacked in support for the F-20 fighter. In 1984, a possibility opened to use a small number of F-20s as aggressor aircraft in the U.S., but the F-16 was selected instead. It was rumored that the F-16s were sold at a loss to keep Northrop's F-20 out of the market. 
The Air National Guard also considered buying the F-20, but they also decided on the F-16. Several nations that considered buying the F-20, had done so on the condition that the U.S. Air Force also used it. This never happened. In 1986, Northrop canceled the F-20 project. Only three F-20s were ever produced, two of these crashed. The F-20 Tiger Shark has been described as one of the best fighters that never went into production.